Chad Walker, happy to have you with us on this Monday morning on WHAM 1180. According to Fox News, U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl was at one point during his captivity thinking of converting to Islam, fraternized openly with his captors, and declared himself a warrior for Islam. Yet another accusation being thrown at the guy who was essentially traded for five Gitmo prisoners. His former brothers-in-arms say he deserted them, leading to the death of six soldiers and his own capture. Now, many want Bergdahl to face a military trial for his actions. Joining us now, an attorney who specializes in military cases, Brian, is with us. Brian, thanks for being with us. This Frox report essentially says he converted to Islam, and it hints that he wanted to do so, but might have been just doing anything he could do to survive, and is that such a bad thing? I've never been in that situation and, and hope that, that I never would be and can't imagine the, the kind of pressures that would be on you in a, in a situation like that. You know, we have a code of conduct for the way we expect our soldiers to behave as prisoners of war, and many of our service members have lived up to that, and some some haven't. But it's hard to imagine what it would be like to be tortured if, in fact, that's what happened to him. From your perspective as an attorney or just your personal observation, do you think Bergdahl is a deserter should he face trial? I think that there's so much about this case that we just don't know, and I think there's a lot about this case that we will never know. The key question is, is really is not so much what happened to him once he, once he was captured, but what happened in 2009 when he left, what were those circumstances, and, and can we determine what was likely in his mind? Now, I've seen overwhelmingly the folks on the ground there in 2009, his fellow soldiers, you know, they, they seem to think that, that he, you know, intentionally did this, that he was a deserter. So I think that if a decision is made to prosecute him, those folks are going to be really the key with the key evidence and maybe the only evidence. Well, here's the thing. If he does face military trial, what kind of punishment might he get? Desertion in time of war can carry a death penalty. If the decision is made to prosecute him, Shortly thereafter, a decision is going to be made whether or not to refer the case to a court-martial as a capital case, which would have the death penalty on the table. If they don't, he could still get life in prison without parole. We appreciate your input this morning. Thank you so much. That is uh, Brian, who is specializes in these types of military cases. Uh, last report we got from the Wall Street Journal is that Berg Bogdahl had turned down an opportunity to speak to his parents. He's still being treated over in Germany for the uh, physical uh, results of his uh, being captured for so many years and uh, the psychological piece of that probably has not started as of yet but he did know that he had the opportunity to talk to his mother and father and he turned that down 808 on wham 1180